Hi everyone, Matt here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to another episode of the ABI Dirt. On last episode, we were talking about water trailers and specifically water as a tool in your horse arena to bind your arena footing together and to provide excellent surface for your horse to train and perform on. But some of you, and I know who, skip last week's episode. I'm just kidding, I don't know who. Skip last week's episode because you don't have horses or you don't have a horse arena. And that's okay, but you might have property and seeing water as a tool around your property is the topic of today's episode, so this one's for you. When you think about water as a tool around your property, I want you to think about your property the way you think about you engaging water. When you engage water, primarily, you're using it for two purposes. You're either keeping yourself alive or you're cleaning yourself with it. Now, we have fun in it every now and then too, but primarily, you're keeping yourself alive or you're cleaning yourself with it. So in thinking about what needs to be kept alive around your property with water, do you have landscaping that your irrigation system doesn't get to, or maybe you don't have an irrigation system? Do you have a garden that's just a little bit further away from the house and the hose is kind of cumbersome and it'd be helpful to have a large quantity of water available to transport out to that garden? Do you have a freshly planted tree row? Some of you love to see the trees for decoration, and some of you are trying to plant uh, some legitimate barrier, put some, put some space between you and the neighbors. Uh, those young trees need a lot of water, and I'm betting that it's a bit further away from the property than the landscaping right up close by that your current irrigation system can get to. Do you have animals or livestock in the back 40? Now, even if they have water access, you may have troughs in pens or pastures, depending on what your, uh, what your rotational grazing looks like, when do your animals have access to water and how often, trying to keep those troughs full. So you need access to, to potable water. What needs to be kept alive? And on kind of the, the unfun side of things, if you're in an area that uh, is struck by drought on a regular basis, if fires are ever a risk, do you need to put hot, large quantities of water down in spaces to help with fire barriers? Or you throw the occasional bonfire, who doesn't like the occasional bonfire that is contained, that is safe, but you'd like water close by to wet the area down in order to keep yourself and your family and your loved ones safe during, during a fun night around the bonfire. So that's the first category. What needs to be kept alive? <laughs> what do you want to care for with water? Second category, as you think about water as a tool around your property, what needs to be kept clean? Are there buildings that need to be washed off? Is there equipment, tractors, attachments, wink, <laughs> that need to be washed off? Do you have stalls? Do you have barns? Or do you just have a driveway that gets all dusty and you need some water for dust abatement? Those are all ways that you can keep things clean or organized, or in the case of that, that driveway, that dusty driveway, keep it tidy with water around the property. Now, I know that was a laundry list of water-related chores around your property, and a lot of you have been trying different uh, DIY hacks for years of hose systems and pump systems, irrigation systems, and different water tanks strapped down to a, to a trailer. There's a lot of ways to tackle the problem. And around here, shameless to say, uh, water trailer is, is one of our favorite ways to tackle it. So next episode, when you come back next time, and I'd love to see you again, uh, after you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these, right, going forward. Uh, we'd love to talk about the, the specific features of the water trailers that we have here in ABI Attachments and how we have specifically designed these trailers with you, the property owner in mind, because we love to help you get your work done. So if you have any questions about uh, kind of that laundry list of water-related chores that I ran through, or if you have a need for water, a task for water, a chore for water that I didn't list, and it's kind of unique, drop us a comment below, drop us a line, ask us some questions. We'd love to get back to you. And remember, we're always available by phone as well. But until next time.